you lovelies! Fragment number three here. Ever wonder how a normal girl ends up in a magical world? Spring chickens. Today's story is Nora, a regular teen in a world with a secret. Whispers of magic and terrifying phenomenon called the Isekai effect, where people vanish in an instant. One day, BAM! Nora's gone, replaced by a magical circle! Now she's alone in a fantastical land. Can she survive? Let's find out. Get comfy, grab a snack, and join for Nora's accidental East Kai adventure. The Unspected Adventure of Nora Our story begins, as all stories do, at the very beginning. Back then, our hero, or heroine, wasn't Ethereum Nova, the legendary god, but a simple human named Nora. She wasn't battling mythical creatures or crafting celestial magic. She was just a teenager, facing the trials of high school in a world much like our own. But this wasn't your average world. There were whispers of magic in the air, faint echoes of a power unseen. Unfortunately, that same magic came with a dark side. In those days, Isekai, the sudden transportation to another world, was a terrifying phenomenon. It could happen to anyone, anywhere. There were no rules, no guarantees. One minute you'd be in your geometry class struggling with angles and proofs, the next you'd be plummeting into a world of unknown dangers. Literally, the only difference between your earth and her earth was the magic aspect. Beneath the veneer of a modern existence, a faint hum of magic thrummed, occasionally manifesting in flickering lights or unexplained power outages, whispers of strange disappearances and local legends about fantastical realms added a touch of the unreal to everyday life. Nora, a curious teenager, often found herself captivated by these whispers. Nora found the East Kai effect to be a double-edged sword. On one hand, it held the promise of thrilling adventures, casting magic, and exploring fantastical new lands. On the other hand, the fear of never returning home to her family and friends gnawed at her. She battled between the call of adventure and the comfort of familiarity. She researches what little information there is about the East Sky effects on the internet. She finds a lot of conflicting information regarding the topic. She occasionally daydreams about herself being isekai to another world, and entertains those thoughts with optimism. Though one terrifying truth lurked beneath the surface, the unsolved case of Mrs. Erna, a teacher who vanished from the grocery store checkout, was a chilling reminder. Throughout the history of Magic Earth, there were various reports of people suddenly disappearing in front of others, with a magic circle appearing beneath their feet and leaving a swirling mist behind in their place. These magic circles would feel warm and they would hum with an otherworldly sound. They glowed in various colors, perhaps indicating where the destination was. People going about in their daily lives whisked away to some foreign world, never to return. The governments all across the world are working on various educations and or systems to help people who get isekai. These systems are in their infancy, so by the time our protagonist Nora gets isekai, the government was a bit too late. One ordinary afternoon, as Nora was chatting with her classmates about geometry in math class, a blinding light engulfed the classroom. Students screamed at the sight of the blinding lights. The teacher tried to calm down the students. Where a moment ago she stood amongst her classmates, a strange glowing circle pulsed on the floor. She felt herself float up, hovering above the ground, felt the air around her warm up and embrace her. Before anyone could react, Nora vanished. The circle faded, leaving behind only a lingering hum, a swirl of mist, and the bewilderment confusion and the horror of the silence of her classmates. Her last memories of her world were of her classmates and teachers' facial expressions. Nora found herself transported to a world unlike anything she'd ever seen, a vast vibrant forest teeming with life. The air crackled with a strange energy, and the sun felt alien on her skin, yet very warm and inviting. 
The world was beautiful, yet terrifying at the same time. Fear choked her throat. Alone, in a foreign world of endless possibilities and terrifying unknowns, Nora's extraordinary adventure had just begun. Her home, her family and friends all taken away from her, with no way back home and devoid of human life. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nora's in quite a predicament. But don't worry, spring chickens. This is just the beginning of her extraordinary adventure. The question is, where on earth did that magic circle send her? And will she ever find a way back home? To unravel that mystery, you have to join me for the next episode. Nora is in a vast and wondrous world, brimming with magic, mythical creatures, and ancient secrets just waiting to be discovered. Perhaps you, dear viewer, have some ideas of your own. If you have any thoughts or questions about the world Nora is in, or what fantastical creatures she might encounter, leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your theories and delve deeper into this magical realm with you all. Until next time, stay curious, spring chickens, and see you soon.